doing a paranormal research study at the Parallel Forest in the Wichita Mountains Refuge. Date is October the 31st, 2016. My name is James Daniel McConnell. McConnell, I'm sorry. The time now is 4.03 p.m. Starting my investigation. Scanning now with my infrared camera. So far, my EMF detector hasn't picked up anything. Continue on, continuing on into the forest. Well, I've come to the east end of the forest. So far I haven't picked up anything anomalous. Going back through now.
time now it's 408, 408 p.m. Continuing walking east, northeast. So far I haven't picked up anything. Still going though. Sudden temperature change. That could be because I walked out into the sunlight. That's what I'm thinking it is. anymore now so I'm heading back start heading back toward my vehicle luckily I brought a compass with me so I don't get lost and I can see Mount Sheridan so I'm moving in the right direction There's that strange well has stepped into the shade, that's why there's a sudden temperature difference. Got yeah, back out into the sunlight, so that means the heat's going back up. Nothing abnormal there. I'm beginning to think I wasted my time coming out here. Not sure what's off that way. I'll go this direction. So I've yet to find this altar they keep talking about. If there's anything paranormal about it. There's really no path that way, so I'm going to turn around back this direction. Lovely day for October the 31st. It's a great day for October the 31st. Helps to face the camera if I'm giving a monologue. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fork over to the right over here. Definitely back in the forest itself. I'm not reading anything. I'm not picking up any weird EMF spikes or anything. So going through the forest. Still nothing. I can actually see out toward the, the highway, the other side of the forest. I haven't found this uh, supposed altar that's out here. You know. oh. Coming out to the other side now. Still nothing on my EMF sensor. I don't think there's anything out here. If there is, it's not here during the daytime. Lovely old place though. Full of trees and everything out here. Oh. There's Mount Sheridan.
Still getting nothing on my EMF scanner. I think I'm gonna have more luck with the dead cockroach at this point. Not saying there's never anything out here, it just isn't here right now. Interesting old tree. Nothing. Nothing. There's my vehicle. You can see it now, clearly. back over this way see if anything anomalous pops up well, that was a good part All right, folks, got to take a little break. All right, folks, I'm back. Continuing my investigation here. I'm going to try getting off the path a little bit. Go back over south, or southwest here, or southeast. Still trucking, still haven't picked up anything. What time it is. It is now 417. 417 p.m. Still haven't come across anything unusual. I got this pile of trees over here. Let's see what this is. Nothing there, just a dirt. Nothing there. Okay. And I'm still going. Let's see. ants. <laughs> Step on the critters. Make sure my IR is on. Look, a mysterious cow pie. Ooh, or bull pie, or buffalo pie. Buy some buffalo. Yeah, duh. Temperature change because I'm coming into the shade again. Nothing abnormal there. Scanning around the camera, not seeing anything. The naked eye, maybe the IRR will pick it up. <laughs> Hope.
as I stated earlier there I'm not saying there isn't anything out here it may only come out at night Me? That looks like I've come out of the parallel forest again toward a creek. Nothing in any of the directions I've gone so far. Well, looks like I'm going to wrap this up, head back to my car. So it's probably something that comes out at night. You know, so. That's an evil spirit, they're afraid of the light anyway, so <laughs> that would explain it. Still getting nothing on my EMF sensor. panning with my camera set on infrared so maybe I may catch something that I can't see with my eyes right now I'm wearing dark sunglasses so I can see Mount Sheridan so, I don't know where the sun is and I do have my compass so there you go I had to get off the path a little bit, kind of investigate off the path some more. Not seeing anything or getting anything out here. Checking around some of these trees and see if, I can, if there's anything around them that be anomalous. Still nothing. Yep. Since they're not allowed out here at night, <laughs> there you have it. Sorry, I had to adjust my glasses there. like Mark Trail over here. <laughs> yep, 
There's my car. Right out there. Coming back out of the forest now. My entire walk around the forest, I picked up absolutely nothing. As I said, it may be something that just comes out at night. If it truly is an evil spirit, then that would explain it because it's not going to come out during the daylight. Well, yeah, I'm coming back to my car. And there's the parallel forest as I'm leaving it. There. Don't know if that's part of it or not. I don't think it is. This seems to be the main area where all the activity is supposed to take place. So. Oh, that's that. Time is 4.45 p.m. on October 31st, 2016. After concluding my investigation at the Parallel Forest here in Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge, I took it upon myself to go to the um, allegedly haunted Jed Johnson Tower, which, uh, hold on a minute. My camera focus here. there in the background, I don't know if you can see it, currently on the trail walking to it, and I'm going to investigate and see what's up. Switch on my EMF sensor. Just have it ready in case I pick up anything along the way. Just a few things here. Sorry. picked up nothing on the EMF. Even though I'm not at the tower yet, there may be something else out here lurking.
just uh, had my mo my mother's uh, funeral service. She's cremated as per her wishes. And we take the ashes back to my sister's house and we're transferring them to the urn that we got. And the whole time, every time I had them, my EMF reader next to the urn it would give off an extremely high EMF reading. But it normally it would move around the room. It would move over, move over right next to me at one time. So it was probably my mom. So I never thought I'd be bench testing this CMF reader looking for my mom for my mother. <laughs> but hey. I know she's at peace. She's born again and saved. So I know she'll she'll go to heaven. But getting back to this. Looks like I'm entering the outer sanctum, if you will, of the trail next to the tower. With all the decorative rock placings over here. So, so nothing on my EMF detector. I don't think there's any electrical wiring out here to account for anything that might cause it to go off. Going up here now. I've never been here. I've only seen it from across the Lake Judd Johnson. I inquired about it online and said, oh, that place is haunted. I said, okay, I'll check it out. Closer and closer now. Tower's looming in the distance. Pretty out here. Almost looks like a weird variation on Saddle Mountain, but it's not Saddle Mountain. That's a few miles northwest of here. Okay. Now. left one is the one that takes you directly up there, both decorated with rocks. That one to the left looks like it goes more toward the lake shore. So nothing on my EMF detector. So, and bear in mind, I'm probably going to go as far as the I'd be allowed to because of it being closed for whatever reason. I'll find out when I get there. Make sure it's pretty out there. The mountains. So nothing on my EMF sensor. Beautiful, beautiful lake. Right way down there. <laughs> oh no. What's up there now? That's due because due to me being in the shade. It's 
hard as maybe it's But I'm sure there's a reason why it's locked up. <laughs> Vandalism. Or too many strange things going on. Could be a combination. Best view of Mount Sheridan. Mount Scott over there. It wasn't too cool. It wasn't a wasted trip. <laughs> Still nothing, nothing behind me, nothing following me. Okay. Gravity certainly is interesting. It tries to pull you down. <laughs> Gravity is the great depressant. It's always trying to drag you down. nothing as I'm walking down so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because you've already pretty much seen all this <laughs> thanks for watching have a great day happy Halloween <laughs>